Hey, this is Teddy Burris, your Google Workplace and Gmail strategist. And I was asked this question this morning. What's the difference between multiple choice grid and checkbox grid on Google Forms? I'm like, oh my golly, I love these. I'm going to show you how to use them. So here's a form I've created called the peanut order form. I'm going to open it up and look at it. And I've, you know, the basic form, no big deal here. What's your name? What's your address? How many bags of peanuts do you want? The basic information you would expect to see on a peanut order form. But here, I went ahead and did some playing with multiple choice grid and checkbox grid. And this is how you do it. This is how it looks. Look, this is actually pretty good. Here's an item and I get one selection, one of these three. And I could have probably more selections on there. Um, and then here's another item, and here's the ch uh, ch uh, multiple choice grid where I get to choose one. But then I have checkbox grid. So I have my items, and I have the columns that I can select, and I can select multiple. In order to set them up, it's pretty easy. I'm going to click in the multiple choice grid. So you add the rows, and then you add the columns. And these are the basically the questions or the items. And this, these are the selectable, uh, individual selectable answer. So salted peanuts, I'm not a fan. I like them sometimes. I love them. Spicy peanuts the same way and roasted peanuts the same way. And you'll see when I click off it, that's how it shows. Salted peanuts, choose one of these. Spicy, et cetera, et cetera. And then grid box. So in grid box, you have your rows, peanuts with beer, peanuts with soda, peanuts with wine. And then the columns on weekends, weekdays, every day. And this is how they look when I do preview. Multiple choice, I get to choose one or the other. I can't choose more than one per row. And I can choose all three, any, I can repeat the choice across all three items in this case. Grid box I get to choose more than one option per row. can choose all the options if I want to. And then I can make a decision. If I want to undo them, I can undo them. And then when I submit, let me show you what it looks like when I submit. Here's the responses in the response form. And you'll see here's the multiple choice grid graphic. But if I want to go look at the data, go to the spreadsheet, because I always save it into a spreadsheet. And you'll see... Here's the multiple choice grid where they chose one of three options, one of three options. And here's the checkbox grid where I chose up to three answers. That's just because I put three options there, up to three answers for each checkbox grid. I've used multiple choice grid and even checkbox grid for some of the forms that I've set up for some of my clients to use. And uh, they're really easy to set up and they're very easy for the user to uh, use and submit their responses to the Google form. The best way to get good at using these features of Google Forms is to go practice it. Set yourself up your own form, play around multiple choice grids, see how many rows you can put, see how many columns you can put and experiment. That's the best way to learn. I hope this little primer video is helpful for you.